Panix here, uh, part two of how to fit and install the Burko um, signal. Part one, I showed you how to make sure it was up and running and working. Part two, I'm, t I'm showing you how to tidy everything up. What you'll need for this is a soldering iron, some lead free solder, an arrangement of tweezers, a third arm, and I'll explain what that's useful in a minute, your wires that you need, and your DPD switch, which is this we're going to use uh, quite a bit, and I'm going to be talking about. You need the third arm because it will make your life a lot easier when you're soldering. So, without further ado, let's get on. So, first you have to open out your third arm and do all that, but I don't need to tell you about that. Your best to either either have it like that or like that, but I prefer doing it like that. So, put your magnifying glass down and alter it to the right place when I can get it done. Oh, it's been awkward. Right, now once you've got it in place, what you want to do is you want to get your wire, this was my green wire. If you've uh, got it untied, don't worry about this. I just like to keep everything neat and tidy. You want to thread it through. it through, make sure the metal's touching and bend it over. Just to make sure you haven't got any uh, pieces left, sometimes it's nice to use the these curved tweezers so you can just grab it like so and just make sure give it a little pull to make sure it's all right right here comes the fiddly bit you want to get your solder right and your soldering iron and you want to just I'm going to have to suck hands here And just get it like that. And like that, we've got our first one in slightly in place. Then we just want to dab it on the soldering iron again and try. And get it down there. I haven't got a very long cable, so that's why I'm a bit restricted. So I'll have to go over this again. So once we've done that one, we move on to our middle one, which, if you can remember, was the brown one. Like here, brown one. So as again, I've got to untangle it because I like to keep things neat and tidy. Let's put you back. Uh, you. I'm going to do a bit tweaking off screen uh, once I've finished it, put some heat shrink tube around it, but it's pretty simple how to do that. Right, now we need our middle one, our middle. So just thread you through. Just grab you. Pull you over and pull you down. Sometimes you need to do it by hand. Just 
like so. You can use something to help you with soldering called flux, but I am not going to buy any just the few things. Right, so now we've done that one, I'm going to have to tweak it off screen because I can't get the other side. Now we've done that one, I'm going to do the last one, which is the last side, which is the pink, which will be the red. You will need, obviously, a soldering iron, or you can use uh, some little things that you can get from Halford. So they're cheap enough, you just slot them onto the end and crimp them on. But I prefer soldering because it keeps them intact a little bit better. Right, then we thread you through. Like so. I'm not going to go. There we go, grab you and bend you over, like so, now we need to grab our solder and iron again, solder, That one's now in place, but I'll have to tweak it off screen. So stay tuned for part three, which will be up sometime shortly. Uh, that will be f finally finishing it off and installing it. This is Traintronics. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, like, dislike, tell me what, you, what, I, what I should do to make better. And so this is me, out.